This is your Barbados Today Morning News Update for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carol Williams. The opposition is not buying government's defense for contracting the services of White Oak Consultancy to restructure the country's foreign debt. Just days ago, Chief Economic Counselor Ambassador Dr. Clyde Maskell stood by the decision and argued that local expertise wasn't available. There has been condemnation of the 27 million U.S. dollar fee. Yesterday, opposition spokesman Scott Weathered told the media that the process was far less than transparent. Whether there was the experience locally to tender on the debt negotiation, that may be so, but we never saw a tender. So perhaps the right way of doing things in the interest of transparency and accountability to which this government signed on when it was elected, the right thing to have done would have been to put out to tender that government was seeking someone to negotiate debt, receive some responses to that tender, and then at that point advertise saying they have not found a suitable person and they're going to seek someone internationally to do this job and then announce that they had appointed this company to do the job and that they're going to negotiate the absolute best price for the job. But to come out and say, when you on one hand say you want to be transparent and have accountability, and then there's no tender about this, you could say you didn't have time. You could say, in the interest of speed, we need to act quickly. But it's interesting that I think the, the, the sum should have been negotiated better. I, I think they did a poor job of negotiation. Um, maybe they didn't negotiate at all. Maybe there are reasons for not negotiating. Who knows? A Canadian investor has thrown his hat in the ring. Founder and CEO of the Toronto-based Green Stripe Naturals, Wayne Isaacs, has declared interest in working with Barbadians supplying the medical cannabis industry. Isaac's company is already doing business in Jamaica, and he sees similar opportunities in Barbados. Our main goal uh, in the cannabis industry is to produce sufficient enough cannabis uh, from the Caribbean region so that we can start looking at the export markets uh, across the world. Okay? In Barbados, specifically, what we're looking at doing is potentially acquiring product from cultivators in Barbados and, um, and again, um, processing and extracting that product so that we can create um, uh, more end-user end products uh, and also as well uh, uh, produce products for the, for the, for the medical markets. Co-founder and editor emeritus of the Nation Publishing Company Limited, the late Harold Hoyt, will be laid to rest in an official funeral next Monday at the Garfield Sober Sports Complex. It begins at 10 a.m. Prior to that, between 8.30 and 9.45, his body will repose for viewing at the same location. The interment will follow at Coral Ridge Memorial Gardens. First, she was retrenched in November last year. Then she started her own company and became an advocate for retraining and retooling of other retrenched workers. Now, former head of the Barbados Water Authority's Communications and Rapid Response Department, Joyon Haig is back with government, this time with her company being contracted by the Transport Authority to act as liaison for commuters. We will be visiting the terminals, all of the terminals, uh, from time to time to make some assessments as to what is required but the key component for this exercise is to interface with the commuters directly and um, ask them about uh, things like uh, what they would like to see improved for example the waiting time the reliability of the service um, bathroom facilities if you know if there anything that we can improve to make their journey a lot better and this information then, of course, will be given then to the board in an effort to improve the service delivery. So it's about transport. This is basically what we've been contracted to do, to speak and liaise with the commuters directly as it relates to transport in its entirety. So we do look forward to meeting them and we look forward to working with the Transport Authority on this um, project. And I think it will be pretty successful given all that I've seen and the different things that have been put in place by the Ministry of Transport. I trust that the program will be a successful one. There's regional and international news after this short break.
Barbados Today, news you can trust. In Guyana, some residents are praising the police after three alleged bandits were killed in a shootout with a lawman. One of those killed was wanted for a double murder. More from Capital News. The police say the exchange of gunfire lasted for about five minutes, after which the lawman combed the scene and recovered over $600,000 in cash, two gold chains, four air rings, two finger rings, two silver bands, a yellow metal band, and a silver pendant. The police also recovered five cell phones, a solar charger, torch lights, score bars, a knife and cutlass, a flash drive, topes and masks, duct tape and gloves, and 200 grams of cannabis. Residents said they can now breathe a sigh of relief after fear gripped the community following a spate of robberies over the past week. Some of the residents were heard saying they would sleep better at night as they continue to shower praises on the police. Some residents converged on the roadside to get a glimpse of the dead bodies as they were being transported from the back dam by a police vehicle. Just last Saturday night, bandits terrorized and robbed a black bush pole, the family of cash and jewelry. Commander of B Division Paul Langevin told reporters the police were working behind the scenes, gathering intelligence and tracking them all the time, waiting for the right moment to strike. I'm hoping that people seem more comfortable, right? And they feel more at ease. And to let them know that the police is always working. Sometimes they get the impression that they believe that the police are not working. But we are always working. Right, Kip? If you've been sleeping comfortable, we are not sleeping right? The bodies of the suspects were then escorted by the police to the Port Marot Hospital, where doctors pronounced them dead. And finally, two dozen U.S. states and municipalities are suing the Trump administration to stop it from enforcing a rule that would make it easier for doctors and nurses to avoid performing abortions on religious or moral grounds. A lawsuit led by the New York Attorney General says the expanded conscious protections could undermine the ability of states and cities to provide effective health care without jeopardizing billions of dollars a year in federal aid. It also says the rule will upset legislative efforts to accommodate workers' beliefs while ensuring that hospitals, other businesses and staff treat patients effectively. The rule is scheduled to take effect on July 22nd. And that's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadastoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM. I'm Carol Williams. Have a good day.